15-year-old Michaela Dent and her siblings were quick thinkers as they saw the water rising. I got up, the first thing I did, I started gathering all my stuff. My sister gathered her stuff. I bought like necessities like my charger. We packed waters and everything. How high would you say the water was at that time? Um, at that time, it was like about up here on me, wow. like up to my waist. So that happened quickly. You went to a workout class and then... Yeah, it went that. so quick. So wow. the time I left the house at 7.20 to 9 something this morning, the water must have just rushed down. Her mom, Annie, left at 7.20 to go to a training class. By 9 a.m., their street was underwater. Do you know what the inside of your house looks like right now? No, I'm actually waiting to get back in the house. I actually drove my car down the street, and then I walked through the water to get my brother and sister, and then we got at all of our stuff, and then we walked back. And we are here at Spotswood High School, where an emergency shelter is in place where residents of Helmetta and Spotswood can come here to get food, drinks, any type of thing that they may need. Many residents, uh, people here, they're without a home to go to. At least they can't go back to their home tonight due to all the flooding that occurred as Tropical Storm Henri moved through the area earlier today. Now, we have Helmetta's mayor here, he's Christopher Slavacek. In addition to Jackie Palmer, she's the mayor here of Spotswood. First off, the rain stopped. It's been quite a day today. What, what's it been like? Uh, kind of surreal, actually. Um, but fortunately, all residents are safe. Um, and with my friend and mayor of Spotswood here, Jackie Palmer, um, we're proud of what we accomplished today with our emergency services um, and rescuing our residents to safety. Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people needed that rescue. Now, Jackie, obviously you have an emergency shelter that's set up here for the residents of Spotswood, Helmetta. If they need help and they haven't reached out to the county or local officials, what can they do? What kind of help is there for them? So the um, the emergency management for the county of Middlesex has helped us to set up this shelter. Our local emergency management team has been here um, all day long. We've had volunteers and, and just the outpouring of love and support from our, our community, um, donating water, food. We've had, you know, just a constant flow of food and, and help and for the residents of Helmetta that needed it, any of our sponsored residents. Going forward, we will have, um, you know, contacts with the emergency management. Both Mayor Slavicek and I are available to both sets of residents of anything that they need. They can reach us on Facebook, they can reach us in our offices. We, we just want to make sure everybody's safe and, and take care of what we need to take care of our residents and, and their pets and their families and our emergency services. I know there's a pet area in there. But for the paint a picture for the people who weren't in this area earlier today, how many people did you have to rescue? How many people are without, how many people can't go back to their home tonight? And what was it like earlier? So I believe that there were 71 homes that were evacuated. Uh, they came, you know, we opened up the shelter this afternoon, early this morning, late morning, I should say. 